name is Deidre Howard. I am the formulator of the reveal eight and one in one daily skincare. I have to look at it. Like, I don't know what it says. And um, I have some specific questions that I get most often. And so I'm going to cover some of those uh, today, some of the basics. Okay. This will be, I guess, reveal one and 101. Um, the first thing is every single time, regardless if it's hot outside or cold outside, shake your reveal. Okay. And, um, and really make sure that it's mixed well. It doesn't, if you can't hear it, it's fine. If you can hear it, shake until you can't, okay? And I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, right now, we're going into spring, summer. Um, Australia's going into a little bit colder weather. And so you just never know. And it's so great to be able to uh, make sure it's mixed well. So that's one hint. Uh, now, I could have put four or five additional preservatives in the product so that we wouldn't have to shake. But yeah, I say less is more. In fact, speaking of which, there are only 11 ingredients. I, 12, I say 12 ingredients replaces eight products. But one of the ingredients of the 12 is actually a combination of, the other, of some of the other 11 ingredients. So honestly, there's 11. But I think 12 sounds better. I don't know, 12 is just like an even 12. And the one that is a combination of some of the other 11 is the one that I get the most questions about. So I thought that I would hit right on that right away. And it's the M2O, um, Hydrating Complex. And I'm not gonna tell you which one of the other 11 ingredients combined creates that because that's the trade secret. That's why it's got its own name. Um, but we like to call it, we like to refer to it as the liquid Velcro. It's the process by which that this product has a built-in gentle exfoliant that you can use on a daily basis, twice a day. It's to be used both morning and night or whenever you wash your face. Um, if you do that more than twice a day. Um, and it's so gentle that it's able to grab a hold of the dead skin, oil, makeup, um, whatever you have on the surface of your of your skin, and just enough that it is uh, it's just, so you're not you're not interfering with the healthy skin underneath. You're only getting rid of the of the dead skin and the dull skin that's on top of your healthy skin. One of the reasons why it's called Reveal is because you've got some really pretty skin under there that we want to get to. And by exfoliating every single day, we can get to it. We can reveal your true beauty um, because why, why, is it, why are you not revealing your, true, your complete and um, most beautiful skin? And the reason is because the older we get, the slower our dead skin sloughs off the slower we get rid of the, the old dull stuff and the nice baby, baby soft stuff shows up. And so um, that's why there is a lot of focus on exfoliants when you're talking about a skincare line. The challenge is that you can only use them a couple times a week because they're a little too harsh. They'll not only take off the dead skin, because they definitely will, but it'll also scratch or uh, potentially damage the healthy skin. Now there's actually a reason for that. It's because when you damage something, um, all your repair system, uh, blood, blood and white blood cells and whatever rushes to that area and begins to repair it. And so it's, it's purposeful damage um, to the skin. There's lots of treatments that are purposeful damage so that your body will go and and repair it. And the goal is, is that there's enough building blocks in that, um, um, pro in the product that's being put on your face that you're able to build healthier, more youthful looking skin. Um, we go about this completely different with the reveal. It's very, very gentle. It's only going to remove dead skin and it's going to support your healthy skin. And as the days go by, more and more of, the, of that healthy skin is going to reveal itself and the dull gray or yellow skin that, that isn't sloughing off as quickly as we want it to will be gone. Just, it's just gone. So you're going, to, you're going to turn over dead cells like a baby. 
instead of like a 40 something woman or 20 something. Well, at 20, you're still doing a pretty good job at turning over that, that dead skin. So you're okay, but it's never too early to start working on your skin. The exfoliation a lot of times is what is focused on with reveal, but it's only one of the eight things that it replaces. So if you put this on your face and you don't get that liquid Velcro, that uh, the rolling off of the dead skin or oils or dirt um, along with the product, don't, don't worry about that uh, because this is self-regulating. That's the other thing is it can be used for every type of skin, every um, ethnicity, um, male, female, um, eight, it's ageless, it's ageless. So uh, it's very, very versatile. And that's what's great about it too, is one, two, put it in your purse and you're able to use it in so many different ways. We're gonna talk about a couple of different ways you might not have heard of before um, that uh, kind of interesting. I would say that, that it's not Reveal 101, maybe it's Reveal 104 or 202, but we'll still throw a couple of those in there because I learn stuff from, from my customers and associates every single day that how they're using this that I didn't even know it was gonna do, which is kind of cool, right? Okay, so, so let's talk about uh, um, that exfoliation. In the process of that liquid Velcro, that's how the face is being cleansed, okay? But that doesn't mean that you can't use a cleanser before you use the reveal, okay? If you want to, if you have a full face of makeup, all right, I've got some um, lip lacquer on right now, and it's pretty pigmented stuff, right? So, and I've got my brows on. So if I wanted to wash my face first with a soap, I could, and then come back after your face is dry it off, come back with the reveal. Um, I may get more dead skin than I would have otherwise because liquid Velcro would have been filled up with all of the color that's, you know, just that right there. That's some color, right? And so you, it is a cleanser, okay? But if you if you want to uh, if you want to use a cleanser beforehand, you can. One of my favorite things about this is it's got a built-in toner, and there's a lot of people out there that don't tone their skin, and that just that one thing of keeping the acid mantle or the pH of your skin at its proper pH point um, that in itself can cause so many challenges that we don't realize that people that maybe haven't been taught about the science of the skin, they just don't realize it. And so they're thinking, okay, I'm gonna wash my face and jump into bed. And I'm just, I'm just happy that I got that done and brush my teeth and I'm in my pajamas before, <laughs> before I fall asleep. Yay, win for me, right? Um, and so grabbing the toner and doing that step might get skipped. And when our skin, our skin needs to be acidic, instead of alkaline. We want our in, most of the areas of inside of our body to be alkaline. Our skin is an elimination organ and it is healthy at an acid of 5.5-ish. There's, we could go into more of the science there, but just right about, right about there, okay? And so um, if it's alkaline, if you use a a uh, surfactant soap, which is al it's an alkaline. A surfactant is an alkaline. And, uh, and how it works is it, it uh, kind of plumps up the dirt and oils and then it, it wipes it away, but it's harsh because it's, the, it's opposite of the pH that your skin should be. So toning takes it back to its healthy um, pH. So it can heal and it can do what it's supposed to do on its own and it's not fighting against the wrong pH, okay? So what I love about Reveal and one of the things that was really important for me to do and it took me quite a while to figure out a way to do it is I wanted there to be a built-in toner. I wanted it to be, to, to be in there. So it didn't have to be a separate step. You didn't have to go find a cotton swab or a, a you know, something to use, use that toner that it would be built in and that you would get it all at the same time. So it's cleansing, it's toning, it's exfoliating. It's a pore minimizer. Now, how do you minimize a pore? That's another way of saying you're cleaning out your pores, therefore they look their healthiest, 
okay? So when things are clean and clear, they look their healthiest. The little roly polies that you're, that you're gonna see as you, as you use the product, they kind of dip in to those pores and they grab a hold of stuff that even a surfactant or a, or a, a scrub wouldn't get to. It's kind of like silly, I don't know, silly putty. I don't know, that's probably not a magic eraser. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, but, but you'll, you know, don't be so quick to slough those off. When you get those roly polies, just kind of really kind of rub, rub them around your face because they pick up more and more and more as, as, uh, as you use the product. Okay, so I stopped at uh, pore minimizer, great, brightener. Okay, so a brightener usually has a bleaching agent in it, all right? And so I get that question sometimes, does this have any harsh chemicals in it? No, it does not. And I'm not going to go over the, uh, over the ingredients this week. I'm going to do that next, the next fourth Monday. Um, but on the Reveal Facebook page, you can see a live that I did that covered all of the ingredients. Okay, so that's there. Just go to the video section and you'll see that. And there's a lot of information there if you haven't been to that Facebook page. Um, so brightener is obvious. If you're getting rid of the dead, dull skin that's on top of your, on, on the surface of your skin because it's not naturally sloughing off as quickly as it should, it's going to be a brightener, but it's bright. It's a brightener in a glowing kind of, of, of healthy way, not in a bleaching chemical way. Okay. And, um, so that's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's not only a brightener for your face. In fact, um, it's, some people use it um, if they have hyperpigmentation or darkness under their arms or on their knees or their ankles. Sometimes there's just hyperpigmentation from inflammation that happens, which by the way, we have mangosteen, which is an amazing anti-inflammatory besides the aloe vera and the coconut oil and the avocado. But again, I'm not going to go into that. I don't think I'm going to have time to go into all of that um, today, but I'll be back. This is only, this is only 101. Um, so brightener, and that's how that brightener is happening. Um, age defier. I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, uh, then the last one is, uh, is makeup primer. And it primes, uh, in fact, there's a video on the Reveal Facebook page that is how to use Reveal as a primer alone. You can, let, let's say you use a Reveal in the morning and you're just around the house. You don't have a full face of makeup on because you're not going anywhere. You're just working from home because that's what a lot of us do, right? And now it's time, you know, maybe you're going to go out to dinner or something and you don't need to necessarily wash your face, but you do want to have a bit of a primer before you put your makeup on. You, there's a video that'll show you how to use this just as a primer. Nothing else, just as a primer. Um, so you can go and watch that on the Facebook page. Again, just hit the video area and you'll see a ton of videos. You might be like, oh, great, Deidre. I don't know if I want to see that much of your face, honestly. But it's good information. <laughs> you can just turn on the speaker and, I don't know, fold laundry. You don't have to look at my face while I do it. I do show you a couple tricks with the beauty blender, though. So you might have to take a quick peek. Um, so makeup primer. But let's say, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, this is, for both men and women, this is for different ages, right? So let's say you're not going to be using makeup, that's okay. It's gonna leave your face with a matte finish. It's gonna help with the, um, with balancing the oils of your skin throughout the day, okay? So it's still, it's still priming your skin even though you're not using it to hold pigment to the surface of your skin with a foundation like I have on. Um, you're just using it to help control with the uh, balance of oils. And whatever, whatever else, sweat. I don't know, it's not gonna stop you from sweating. At least it doesn't me, but you might not have hot flashes like, <laughs> like I do. Okay, so I wanted to talk about age to fire. So I get that question a lot of times, like what does that mean? Am I gonna look 20 years old for the rest of my life? No, that's not what this means. There are so many things that create um, early aging um, that basically abuse your skin, okay? And there's nutrients and building blocks and cleansing and toning um, 
and protecting, all of those things and hydrating, that's a really big one, you guys, a really big one. It's a hydrator and it's drawing, drawing um, water to your skin um, all day long and we need hydration to repair any, any part of us does, okay? That's just basic. We're kind of like a bag of water with some minerals and some other things in it um, walking around and our skin is the outside of that. I know I just called myself a bag, it's true. But scientifically, um, water is what we are most of. And so not having enough of that, having a dryness issue really brings on the aging process faster or um, quicker than it needs to be. So this is designed, even if you're using this as a, you know, as a younger person that has acne or is using it for de different purposes than anti-aging, what age defying really means is that we're giving the skin what it needs so it can do its magic. It can defy the odds of what happens just by living life and being out in the elements and dealing with, with uh, pollution and toxins and all that kind of stuff, whether they're internal or external, okay? So once again, I'll say them all together. Cleanser, toner, exfoliator, hydrator, brightener, age defier, pore minimizer, and makeup primer. So on here, again, Reveal 101, here's what the directions say. The directions say, apply a, this is when I need my bifocals, right? Um, a, a generous amount, I should know what this says, I helped write it, <laughs> generous, generous amount to your face. Now, what does that mean? That's another question I get a lot of, is what does the word generous mean? Well, this has 60 mils in it, okay? And 60 mils is on purpose. Uh, I used to make this and it only had 50 mils. I added an extra 10 mils because what I found is that each application is about a mil, okay? And if I'm expecting people to use it day and night, there needs to be 60 of them. Besides those days that have 31 days and those other days that only have 28 days, I mean months, but basically, right? And um, I also wanted to have enough in there that you could use it on your neck and decollete at least once a week because aging really shows up here, okay? I, my most sensitive skin I have is here. I mean, it looks like I've been outside and I got a sunburn. That's just my skin. It is just, this is just, so this area needs some attention too, okay? Um, so I wanted there to be plenty of product in there. When you first start using the product, you may find that you have to use a little bit more reveal than you do after you've been using it for a week or so. It takes a little bit of time for the skin to balance out and, and get used to any new product uh, routine, skin product routine that you use, okay? So if you find that, that maybe you're using a little bit more than a mil for the first little while, that's totally normal. But you're gonna, you're gonna level out to a to about a mil, okay? Um, all right, so I'm not expecting you to go and measure this on, on a scale to make sure it's a meal. So let me tell you how you know you have enough product on your skin, okay? It's very simple. Because I've said marble size, I've said pea size, I've said, I, I try to come up with, a, with a, a, a visual way, but this is the best way to do it, okay? Because um, our skin has different needs on different days, so it might be less than a mil some days, and a little bit more than a mil some days. So the best way to know that you have enough product on your skin is that when you put the reveal on, if you're feeling a cooling sensation, you've got enough product on. If you don't, add a little bit more until you feel a cooling sensation. Or if you're feeling a warming sensation, then put a little bit more on until you feel a cooling sensation, okay? A warming sensation is going to come from if you have, um, you know, maybe windblown skin or you've got a lot of little micro um, cracks in your, in your face because it's very, very dry and it has a built-in toner. And you know how back in the day when we 
had acne. I don't know if you guys did, but I had it really bad as a, as a, as a kid. And you would, you know, maybe you would extract one of those fun little friends and then use a toner afterwards. It just kind of talk to you a little bit. It'd be like, uh, hello, that's an open wound, right? So the built-in toner, that warming sensation is, is your, your, those, those, uh, micro, um, cracks, I guess you could say, like that dry, those dry areas saying, hey, I need some more, I need some more of the other ingredients like the coconut oil and the avocado and the aloe vera. So just put on a little bit more and it should go into a cooling sensation. Okay, now that's not going to last for a long time. That's going to balance itself out, but it's a feel thing instead of a sight thing. I found that that has worked the best, okay? is a feel thing. So you put that on, you feel a cooling sensation. And then when the cooling sensation just begins to subside, it's not completely gone. Okay. It's still going to feel cool. Um, but when it starts to get less, that's when you begin to all four fingers. It says it right in the instructions. I'm going to finish the instructions here. Um, let it set for 30 to 40 seconds. Now, for some people, it's less than 30 seconds. For some people, it's more. So um, it's a feel thing. When you start to feel the um, coolness uh, subside, then that's when you want to start to, to rub. Then rub gently in a, a circular motion. <laughs> do you like how I'm trying to see this? These, I do not have my bifocals on. I shouldn't even admit that I wear bifocals, okay? But I do. Um, using all four fingers. That's the part I wanted you to see. Using all four fingers, okay? So it's not very rigorous. It's not like an apricot scrub or something with beads. It's more of a massage and a pressing in with all four fingers. So you want that surface to be there, okay? And so you're gonna be gentle, you're gonna be kind. You're gonna have another chance to exfoliate again in just a few hours, because the day goes by so fast, so you have daytime and nighttime. So you don't have to, you don't have to be aggressive, okay? You wanna be gentle. Um, with all four fingers, rubbing until remnants diminish. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Okay, let's talk about water. And that's what we'll finish off with today, okay? So there's a lot of people that do not, that, that uh, and you probably heard that this is a waterless product. That doesn't mean that there's not any water in here, because clearly there's water in here, otherwise it would just be powder coming out, right? So um, in fact, it's uh, mangosteen nano water. So it's powerful water, okay? What nano, I mean, what, can tell what I want to talk about right now. What waterless means is that you don't necessarily need to rinse it off. You can put it on, do your, I want to see the hokey pokey, but uh, do your roly polies. And if you feel like your face has gotten clean enough from that process, because how the dirt's being picked up is with that liquid Velcro, um, then you can leave it be. I like to at least get my hand wet and kind of go over the top of it because there's little teeny roly-polies. I like to just, you know, they just like to hang out. And so I want to get all of that off. Um, but you don't necessarily have to get a washcloth or rinse it off thoroughly if you don't want to. The ingredients that are in here are mild enough that they can be a leave-on product. But with that said, however, when you're first using a reveal for the first time, I would recommend that you follow the directions exact, that you do rinse it and pat it dry, okay? Um, because there's ingredients here that help to draw out the imperfections in your skin. And when you, in the very beginning, when you're balancing out your skin, um, we don't want to be too aggressive with that. We don't, we want, we want to, um, uh, be gentle with our skin as when we're first starting to use it, at least for the first week or so, okay? So rinse and pat dry. And then after you've used it for, you know, a week, 10 days or whatever, give it a try. Try it uh, waterless. Try to use it and cleanse your face and 
as soon as all those rollies, pulleys are gone, as we call them, um, then go ahead and just, get, you know, maybe you're, get your hand wet and see how that feels. Um, there's going to be some additional moisturizing factors that are going to be left on your skin. But even if you rinse, the, the conditioning ingredients that I have built in, um, they don't, you don't rinse those off. Those still stay on the surface of your skin, but you might like it better without rinsing. You just get to find out. That's really the fun of this is it takes a little while to get to know it, get to know your skin, get to know how much you like to use, how often you like to use it, and um, give it a little bit of time. You can always ask me questions anytime by going to the Facebook page or by emailing me or um, sending a, a question into corporate and I'll make sure that I get it and I'm happy to help you or your customers um, navigate through the process of how to best use this for you. But it's pretty simple. That's the thing that's fun about it. It's pretty simple and it's pretty immediate. All right, so I told you I was gonna tell you one thing that you might not know about the reveal because we've just talked about what it does here, but it does a lot of other things too. And each time that I come on to do these uh, um, product training videos on the fourth Monday, I believe is the one that they've given me um, of every month, I'm going to highlight some of those other things that, that reveal works so well for. Okay. And one of them, believe it or not, is as a deodorant. I know. I didn't even know that when I created it, but it makes sense. It's got antibacterial, anti-inflammation um, um, infl ingredients in there. Uh, it's, it, when, you, when, you, when you have body odor, it's actually not the moisture that's under your arms, it's actually the bacteria. And, and so um, I just had one of, my, you know, one of my friends that had extreme challenges with, uh, with finding a, any deodorant, deodorant that worked. And so she thought, I'm just going to try and see what happens. I mean, how can it hurt? And voila, it has been, um, it is now, it is now my deodorant and antiperspirant with all these natural ingredients. So I don't know if you haven't tried that before, you don't exfoliate, you just put it on like a cream, uh, a cream product and you leave it be. It might be something that works. You never know. Okay, with that, I'm going to say good night. Have a wonderful day. And um, remember, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I'm more than happy to walk you through any um, challenges or, or celebrate with you too, because I get so many fantastic um, uh, messages about acne and psoriasis and eczema and just things that, that people are finding the reveal supports. Our skin is doing the real job. Our skin is an amazing organ when you give it what it needs. Um, I'm never going to say that, that the reveal is, is the reason. Um, our skin does that work, but isn't it great to have something that can help support the skin to do its magic? So with that, have a fantastic night, and we'll be talking again soon.